Hello, my beautiful friends. It's been a minute, right? I don't know. Has it been like a week since I've posted any of my own videos? I post other people's videos, but I haven't really made any content because like I was just so sick. And to be honest with you, this has just been a huge trial for me because I, it seems like ever since COVID, there's no such thing as the maybe once a year cold and maybe every other year the flu. It's like constantly, all the time, every time you turn around, you're sick. It's annoying. And I really struggled with it this time because I'm like, Lord, just oh, why? Right? It was just a, a big trial for me to be in. And just, you know, we get miserable when we're sick and we're just like, why? So I just wanted to share what the Lord has been ministering to my heart as I've been sitting in complete silence for days before him, like, Lord, speak to me. So I just wanted to share this. So we all, we all want a life without difficulties, right? But we know that diamonds are made under pressure. And we know that gold is purified in the fire. And oak trees are made big and strong through storms and palm trees bend with every single wind because they're just such a flexible tree and their root base just stretches out so far from the tree. It makes them, it's what makes them stable, right? So they're able to withstand the pressures and the winds of those heavy storms. And so I was sitting here thinking to myself, all the things going on in the world, all this sickness, everyone I know is complaining about it. And I'm just, just like, you know, um, Lord, what, what do you have to say to me through this? Because to be frank with you, there was a time in my life where I was perfectly happy to be a lump of coal or a weak sapling as long as I could enjoy a stress-free life. But that is not God's plan for any of us. God's plan is to make us that shiny diamond, that purified gold, and even the big strong oak tree. But in order for us to be any of those things, we need to be like the palm tree that is flexible with the winds of the storm, bending with the trials and tribulations of this life. And just because we're followers of Christ doesn't make us exempt from any of that. Jesus said in John 16, 33, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. So we can be thankful that God strengthens us for what we face down the road in our lives. And when we bend with the winds of the storms that come our way, he gives us peace in the tribulation, in the trials of this life. If we abide in him and surrender to him and fully trust him, he will give us peace in the trials. James writes in chapter one, verses two and three, consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. We don't like trials, but we have them because we need to learn how to endure. And we can then thank the Lord for growing us through the hard times in the same way that parents teach their children to face their fears God prepares us to endure the things that are going to come our way. And he will test and try our faith, not to see how you're going to respond because he is all knowing. He already knows how you're going to respond. He tests and tries our faith so that we can see how we will respond so that we can see just how deep is our faith. Just how strong is our trust in the Lord? Do 
you fully trust him in those trials of life? Or does your trust need some work? I can honestly tell you that in many, many aspects of my life, God has taken away every avenue that provided an answer to my problems so that he was the only one that I could rely on. Let's be honest, it's hard to trust someone that you cannot see and you cannot touch. Oh, but let me testify to you that it has been through the most extreme and painful trials of my life that I learned that God is far more reachable and touchable than anyone I've ever had standing right in front of me.